In this lesson, we will discuss power and electrical circuits, electrical switches, and identifying resistors. It is not all inclusive of everything we need to know on these topics. Additional information can be found in FAA publication H-8083-30, the General Maintenance Technician's Handbook. We might know that light bulbs and some appliances are rated in watts, or that our electric bill is charged by the number of kilowatt hours we consume. A watt is the power needed to move one amp of current with a force of one volt, and power is the product of the current and the voltage. Another measure of electrical power is horsepower, where one horsepower equals 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, or 550 foot-pounds per second. If I want to convert watts to horsepower or horsepower to watts, one horsepower equals 746 watts. Here you see on the slide two formulas to help you determine horsepower. This pie chart can be utilized to help us determine how to solve for power, current, resistance, or voltage. We probably commonly think of switches as being used to turn something on or off. They do this by opening a circuit to stop current flow or closing a circuit to allow current to flow through the switch. They can also be used to change the direction of current flow. Think of a switch on a railroad track. Switched one way, the train will travel down one set of tracks. Switched the other way, the train will travel down another set of tracks. A single pole, single throw switch is a simple on-off switch for one circuit. Flipped one way, the circuit is open or off. Switch the other, it is closed or on. The double pole single throw switch allows us to open or close two circuits with one switch. The single pole double throw switch acts like the train switch, allowing us to change current flow from one circuit to another. A protective device is a device used to protect the wiring in a circuit from damage caused by overloading or a short. It is important to note that protective devices protect the wiring and not devices or appliances in the circuit. The only circuits in an aircraft not required to have a circuit protection device are those in the main starter circuit and any other circuit whose failure would cause no hazard. The main starter circuit is only operational during the starting of the aircraft engine and therefore poses no hazard in flight. There are two types of circuit protection devices used in aviation, fuses and circuit breakers. Only trip-free type circuit breakers are used in aviation. Resistors are used to control or restrict current flow. Variable resistors can be thought of like the faucet for your garden hose, which can be used to increase or decrease current flow. Resistors come in a wide variety of sizes and shapes. Smaller resistors, however, can often be identified by a set of colored bands on the resistor which indicate its resistance and ohms. The resistor on the top left of this diagram has four bands, which is typical. The first band is blue, which corresponds to the number 6. The second band is white, which corresponds to the number 9. And the third band is orange, which indicates that we are to multiply the first two numbers by 1000. And the fourth band is gold, which indicates a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. This tells us this resistor has a value of 69,000 ohms, 
plus or minus 5%. Here is another example of determining a resistor's value by the colored bands. This resistor has a rating of 2500 ohms plus or minus 2%. In this example, the first silver band is a multiplier of 1 one hundredths, giving us a total value for this resistor of 0.45 ohms, plus or minus 10%. Here is a picture of an actual resistor. From its colored bands, we can determine that it has a resistor value of 100 million ohms, plus or minus 5%.